Don't mind me just stealing this painting. Go about your business. The Eiffel Tower is never this empty. Every time I see him, I get all clammy and I feel like fainting. Girl, that's not love. That's a serious medical condition. Go to a doctor. There is a very simple solution, Marinette. It's called a cell phone. You just need his number. I know who will have Adrian's number. Seeing as this was before Nino and Alia started dating, why would Alia have his number? And why hasn't she thought of this before? Look, we all know improv's not your bag, so just stick to this script. But all the teachers say I don't sound natural when I read. Y'all know texting is a thing, right? No talking required? In fact, Alia could write and send the message. I would know, I've done it before. <laughs> that jump was really impressive, but why does she need to be all the way over there? It's gone to voicemail! Leave a message, don't improv! I'm pretty sure the voicemail caught all of that. Why does Alia not hang up? It lands face up right next to her and clearly hasn't been hung up yet. Oh, right, I forgot. All Parisians are blind. Okay, okay, I got an idea. If Adrian's phone went to voicemail, it means the dude's busy, which also means you can get to it before he does. Everyone calls Marinette a stalker, but Alia is the real problem here. Of course! He's got fencing club after school, that's why he didn't pick up! It ends in exactly 22 and a half minutes. I take back what I just said, Marinette is a stalker. Wait, if she knew that, why did she call in the first place? I mean, I would have done it on purpose, because talking to a voicemail is easier than talking to a person, but that clearly wasn't the plan. Oh no! Now we're late! Time to transform, Plague! Wait, so he agreed to attend the unveiling during his fencing class? Why is nobody good at planning? It's only proper for Paris to pay homage to those who protect us from evil. Ladybug and Cat Noir! And this statue never shows up again. Nice one, animators. Hey, I don't mean to burst your bubble, huh? but you know, Ladybug and me, we're a thing. You know? Really? Yeah, we're like this. Marinette's got her problems, but at least she's never made me want to punch her in the face like Adrian does here. <gasps> this guy was so shocked his eyes stopped working. Maybe it would help if you took off those silly mittens. And risk leaving fingerprints? No way. You've already been touching it. Cat Noir? I'm way slicker than that guy. Ah, yes, lock the superhero with the power of destruction in a room filled with priceless art. Very clever. It is in the slammer, Ladybug. Don't think you're gonna keep him in there No, for no, leave it to the experts, Ladybug. We've got it under control. I hate this guy. Why would any normal person think that they could take on a superhero? You guys can't even handle one akumatized villain. Sit down and shut up. Gosh, you're annoying. Cataclysm! Wait, hold on. Copycat clearly grabs Cat Noir's hand, which means his hand should have been cataclysmed, right? I love you, Ladybug. I'm way better than this mangy alley cat. This episode's all about pedophilia. You know, for kids. <laughs> the amount of times this guy grunts is weird, even by miraculous standards. But I'm better than both of you. Yes, you are. Hey, it's me. He's lying. I'm the real one. Ugh, now you're both annoying me to pieces. Their voices are so different. Are you deaf as well as blind? Cat Noir, scratch attack! Ladybug's out here playing Pokemon. Can you autograph it for me? Of course I can. You've got some real artistry here. You really captured my essence. She must have super speed because there's no way she drew that that fast. Didn't find it. Adrian looks everywhere except for his locker, which is the logical place his phone would be. Also, Gorilla does not seem phased by how long Adrian took. Maybe you dropped it somewhere. Well, if I did, then whoever has it found it in the boys' locker room. I was checking my now. voicemail in there during fencing practice. And Adrian will never think of that disappearing voicemail ever again. You need some time off. Hey, I know. Let's go to the movies tonight. <laughs> Nino, where's your hat? There are so many beautiful Adrian moments in this episode that I have to do a sin reduction round. So enjoy that while I go to bed because it is currently 5 a.m. Thanks. Silly. Oh no, I'm gonna fall over. <laughs> what are you looking at me for? I didn't need it, I swear. How did I not see that jealousy coming a mile away? Yours or his? 
<laughs> so fun. I don't get what Ladybug sees in you. What am I supposed to do with this? <laughs> Makes me purr.